Buckle up because this ain't your mama's JT review. Let's be real, Justin Timberlake used to be the prince of pop. From bringing sexy back to rocking your body, the dude was it for a hot moment. And not to mention his great NSYNC days. But oh man, this album is an eclectic boring mess wrapped in a blender set to puree. And while it is diverse in sound, and production is not your typical trap beat that I'm just so tired of hearing at this point, it lacks anything interesting to really make these songs pop. It's like one of these showcase streams of Timbaland's students' best beats. Now here's the real kicker. Like I mentioned on my previous video on Ariana singing, Justin isn't belting. All the exciting notes are sung in falsetto, and honestly there aren't that many exciting notes to begin with and i know what you're saying you're saying look this isn't his style he was always singing in falsetto from the early days from nsync to cry me a river and you're right i get that but is it really too much to ask for singers to want to get better with their vocals is being a vocal technician such a bad word in the pop industry at this point in time I hardly think it's a strange request from an artist to want to see them develop vocally, let alone develop anything involving their art, which I don't see here. At the very least, I thought JT came from a different generation of musicians where with each album you showcase just a little bit more improvement on your vocal range and voice overall. Where's the power? Where's the range? Some songs even use autotune like the NSYNC one. And don't give me that, ah, oh, it's for style. No, it's not. Not in this specific situation. In this case, it was meant to trick you into thinking they sound that perfect. And by the comments on that song, it worked. The over glorification of falsetto in pop singing. It's like he spent the entire recording session sucking helium balloons. Why is falsetto so praised is beyond me. I'm not saying it's a terrible sound, but it's way overused by male singers in the pop industry who lack the very basic skill to belt. All singers should have this skill. Is this the future of pop? Hopefully not. Hopefully at some point we're going to revert to talent and training. I urge everyone seeing this video right now to go ahead and listen to Cry Me A River by Justin Timberlake and then go ahead and listen to the cover Cry Me A River by Kelly Clarkson. What she did was belt out the song just to show you how more exciting the song gets, how much more impactful and emotional the vocals hit and then come back and tell me whether or not you should hear more belting in today's music. On the entire album, I only saved two songs and this album is packed with diversity. But just two, this is crazy. This is the guy who helped produce and write Beyonce's Rocket People. What in the hell? It's also the same guy who has strawberry bubblegum in his catalog. How is this the exact same guy who gave me this album right now? I am very, very confused. Blue Ocean Floor was super experimental. Where is that sound on this album? Where is any of that song on Men of the Woods? I know he was trying to go for something else for Men of the Woods, but that album did not hit anything for me. The songs I saved were Sanctified, which is a grower. I feel like the more I listen to the song, the more I love it. I loved his low chest voice there and if that tone wasn't there, I definitely wouldn't have saved the song. And the last song was Conditions, which has one of those generic trap beats, but the melody is just really good. So yeah, I might not keep them in the long run in my playlist, but I feel like I just had to get something out of this experience. And look, I'm a JT fan at heart. His 2020 experience, at least the first album, was a total banger. Not even one song that I can critique was bad on that album. And yes, it had a lot of falsettos, but, but he really showed his range on that album. Look, I'm not one to look at sales and say that they represent anything, but I am actually very interested to see how the general public will receive this album and whether or not it's going to generate some hits for Justin Timberlake at this stage of his career. Hats off to Justin for still making music at this stage of his career for a male artist. It's definitely unexpected to see. And also for someone who grew up on idols like Michael Jackson, you can take some inspiration with trying to reinvent yourself and do something bigger each era. And I think that's just the whole point of pop 
music. I very much feel let down by him and Usher for not doing that each era they come out with music because they built their own stages and elevated themselves to a point where they have such a big platform to do bigger things within the pop realm. I'm talking about crossing genres, I'm talking about making big movies, music videos, really just take inspiration from what Michaels did and try to build on, on it. And it's not just them, most male artists don't try to do something, they always keep in their own lane. And it's very interesting because they do look up to Michael Jackson. So I, I just don't understand why not. So these were my thoughts on everything I thought it was. I'll give this album another listen and maybe some more songs will grow on me. 